Okay, so what we're going to do here is include a git ignore file. So git actually tracks whole loads of um, system files. It will, anything that's actually within uh, your root directory, it will track unless you tell it not to. So NetBeans itself creates a whole bunch of files that are hidden. You can't see them, but um, this may create conflicts when you're sharing a project with somebody who's also using NetBeans, who's trying to download a project from your repository and um, uh, the files are different. Okay, so you just come to this uh, website here called gitignore.io, type in your um, operating system or IDE. So you've got NetBeans here, um, and I'm on a Mac and someone else is on Windows, so what we could do is um, do those. Um, Windows, and then we've got like Mac, is it? Mac OS, okay, so let's just create that. Our git ignore is there. This is the guy here. So it's just doing things like DS or DN store, I think it is for Apple. Um, yeah, DS store, this is Mac OS. Stuff that the window user might not need. I'm gonna grab that. All right, I'm going to put that in a git ignore file. So um, what I need to do is how do I create a git ignore again? Um, one second. Is it, um, uh, it's dot git ignore. So it's dot git ignore. I need to come into here. I need to go into NetBeans. I need to go into the source code. I need to go to new, um, other. I'm going to go to uh, other. And I think there's empty file here. Next. And it's dot git ignore, like that. Okay. And then it's in that git project. Press finish. There's our git ignore. Press paste. And I press save. And that's done. Okay, grand. I'm going to commit that to the repository shortly when I uh, finish this video.